All right, guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's actually pretty chilly out here this morning. It's the first time I've had to put a jacket on this fall. And we have a customer. This is a 2023 Beta 200 RR, and it is the oil injected model. And the customer is concerned that the bike is over oiling. Um, so these bikes have, like in the display, there's a check engine light. So it'll come on if it's low oiling or high oiling, it'll, it'll do both. So it, that engine light's not on, and there's not like any tailpipe stuff coming out the back. But we want to check it for him. He's ex he, that's what he wants. So that's what we'll do. So what we did is we had to get this bike to idle at 1700 RPMs, and there's not a built-in tachometer. So I grabbed one of these Moose Hour Tach meters that we will now stick on Braxton's bike. Um, and this has an RPM right in it. You can switch from tack to hour meter and I've got the RPM set up here. And Beta wants the RPMs at 1700 RPMs because the bike has to run for 45 seconds. So real quick, I've already drained his gas out and this is pre-mixed gas at 50 to one. So gas is already pre-mixed because in a second we're gonna unhook his oil line. So I just want you guys to know, I've already run it. It's getting double the oil at the moment. It's smoking pretty good, so. Um, I had the idle really good yesterday afternoon at 1700, but it was a lot warmer yesterday, so I just messed with it a little bit. I might be on the high side, this might be closer to 1800 RPMs, but if you want to come in, you can kind of, I'm not sure if the GoPro will pick that up or the camera will pick that up or not. So it's actually kind of low. I can, well, it's around 17. I can turn it up just a little bit. So let me just take this. It doesn't take much to really change it. See, I barely touched it, now we're up to 19, so. I'd rather it be maybe a little high. All right, I just turned it back down. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. Our bike's gonna idle maybe a little high compared to what they want. So real quick on the counter here, all I have. So to do this test, you have to have two different colors of, of premix oil, or oil in general. So this is the Motul 710. This is what the customer has been using. It's that blue color inside of there. And for this test, we're gonna switch to the premix. This is a red oil. So that way we can see in the bike here what the difference is. So the first thing I have to do, you have to have a syringe as well. We'll get to that in a second to suck out and, and refill. So we are gonna, pull his oil line off the side. So back up just a little bit, Braxton here. And it's kind of tricky in the two, well, actually it's kind of nice. It's like right in the side of the 200s and that kicker lever might be right in the way for you guys to see. We installed a kickstart kit for him a while ago. So right here, and again, this pipe is not, it's not super hot, we're okay. So I'm gonna just kind of pull this oil line off here. We don't want to damage his oil line because that wouldn't be good either. And this line's never been off since it was new, so this takes a minute. So his oil line's off now. And Beta wants us to drain two inches of oil out of this. So I've got a marker and I brought the tape measure just to be ultra good. So we're gonna go here, here, kind of right where that dirt is on it is where we gotta be. So there's two inches. I have to extract two inches of that oil out of there which never had to do this before. So it might be a little more of a challenge, but we will get it done. So this is what I have for a syringe here at the shop. Let's see if this will help me get some of this out of here. Oh, I'm just pulling it. But then I gotta get air in there too though. So let's see. Oh yeah, check that out. It's actually working pretty good. So we're, we're about halfway done now. Do it a couple more times here. So I just cleaned this syringe out. I got as much of that green oil out as possible. And now we're gonna add the red. I feel like that's about as much oil came out. Okay, so let's go back over here. And so Brax and I played with this for another second. We got a little bit more of this green oil out. So it's actually kind of past the mark, but that's okay. There would just be a big air bubble in between. So let's try to shoot this up in there. Oh, look at that. This was, oh, well. It almost needs like an air gap to get this down in there. Huh. So I'm struggling a little bit to get this oil to go down in without it coming out of the 
we go. There's like two inches of oil there, but then as soon as I take the pressure off of the needle, it comes take right it back out. out. Well, Can it's like the, the, those the force of it pulls it right back out. All right, guys, so we're struggling to get oil back up in this line. It's, it's next to impossible to get oil up in there. Beta said just to use a syringe, so something like this, but we need a much thinner syringe needle, so that way there's like an air gap next to it here. So what we're gonna do is there's, I've got my two inch mark there, the oil's starting to creep down now, but we got two inches there. This is pre-mixed, so we're just gonna hook it back up and run it, and once this air gap is gone, that means we've done our test. So what we're gonna do is just kind of slide this in here. Putting extra oil back into that line is basically just double oiling the bike, so we don't need to do that. We switch our bikes all the time from pre mixed oil injection, so we're gonna start the bike and run it now. And it's still pretty close to that, that mark there in there. So let's just start it and see what happens. So we gotta run for 45 seconds. So let's see. Um, we can start it right, let's see, let's wait. Five more seconds, we'll start the bike. And so right about now, we'll fire this thing up. And we're just gonna let it idle. And that says 115 on the camera. It was 110. 110? Yeah. Look how good that oil injection is perfect though. It's working exactly as it should. That's exactly what I would expect. So this oil injection is working exactly how I want it to. That's not too much oil. You said 110 on the camera. So it's 135, 136, 37. Yeah, it's, it's freaking perfect because it's going to be like 145. That should be pretty close to being gone. And right there, or no, one, uh, 10, 45 seconds, so 155, I'm sorry. So yeah, like right there, it, it just disappeared. So. All right guys, that's a wrap on the oil injection test. Real quick recap, all we did is we pulled two inches of oil out of the oil line, we stuck it back on, we ran it for 45 seconds, and that oil refilled the tube. And please keep in mind this is pre-mixed, so what we're gonna do now, now that that's all hooked back up, I will pull my pre-mixed gas back out of it, and I'll dump his gas back in, and he'll be ready to go ride. So thanks for watching, enjoy the ride.